Fort Snelling, to me, is like this living, breathing artifact. First and foremost, this is Dakota land. It was here before Minnesota, and it's in a critical space where the Mississippi and the Minnesota rivers meet. It was that Fort Snelling before my whole career in the military started. I'm one of the original Tuskegee Airmen. We were uh, the first black pilots in the military, and uh, we fought in World War II. Fort Snelling had, at one time, Military Intelligence Service Language School. They trained linguists in Japanese. Juxtaposed right next to that patriotism and that honor and that pride is despair. It's Indian exile, it's Indian removal, it's a concentration camp for Dakota people. Fort Snelling was a critical location in the lives of Dred and Harriet Scott. This place allowed them to sue for their freedom because they had been in free territory for a significant amount of time. Because of all of that, you know, we actually were able to be a part of history that ended slavery. Minnesota citizens, they can only benefit from understanding and accepting and acknowledging that all of these complicated histories have happened there. We're ready for change. We're ready to take it to the next level.